Tonight on Local 4 News at 10. We're not quite done with winter as a storm system pulls through the area during the overnight hours, bringing a mixed bag of precipitation. We'll let you know how much you can expect and how it will affect your Monday morning commute next. Local 4 News at 10. Good evening, I'm meteorologist Kyle Keel. We started off with a little bit of sunshine earlier today, but clouds filtered in during the afternoon, and they're beginning to thicken up as we do have some rain and even some wintry weather that we'll get in here just a little bit later tonight. Temperatures right now, we're at 35 in the Quad Cities, below freezing up to the north in Galena, still sitting at 42 degrees down in Burlington. Here's your forecast first. We're dry at 11 o'clock with a temperature of 34 degrees. Tomorrow we'll be below freezing, so we do have the chance for some wintry precipitation, rain, snow, and perhaps a little sleet, so the morning commute will be a little bit slick, but things do start to warm up above freezing as we head into the afternoon hours, and it will be breezy. We'll let you know how much snow you can expect coming up in just a few minutes on Local 4 News. WHBF is local for you. This is Local 4 News at 10. Meteorologist Kyle Keel with your local pinpoint forecast. Good evening, everyone. We got a pretty calm picture right now on our sky cam. It's been shaking around a little bit tonight because we have had a little bit of a breezy condition, a wind out of the east, anywhere from 10 to 20 miles per hour. That's going to be the least of our issues as we go later on into tonight. As we mentioned just before the break, temperatures today were right above 50 degrees, around 52 degrees. Believe it or not, we will be talking about a wintry mix a little bit later tonight. But we're looking between 2 o'clock and 4 o'clock in the morning for that wintry mix to start. So that's going to make for a pretty tricky Monday morning commute. Now, north of Interstate 80, where temperatures will be a little bit colder, that's where we will see all snow, and that's where most of the accumulation will be. We'll take a look at that here in just a moment. Here in the Quad Cities and along the Interstate 80, corridor. That's where we will start off with a little bit of a snow and sleet mixture, perhaps a little bit of rain, but as temperatures cool down toward about 7 or 8 o'clock in the morning, that's when we will transition to snow. And most of the precip will be light rain down to the south. It's going to be more scattered south of Interstate 80. So you will want to allow yourself just a couple of extra minutes as you start your morning commute because uh, roads will be a little bit slick. Luckily, with the pavement so warm, the uh, accumulating snow will mainly happen on the grassy surfaces. But nonetheless, just to be careful as you head out tomorrow morning. The good news is temperatures will be warming up, so any snow that does accumulate will melt uh, starting tomorrow afternoon. And then by the time we get into Tuesday, that's when we will actually have our next chance for rain and could even get a few rumbles of thunder as well. As far as the winter system, we got to get through that first. We are going to see a trace to about two inches of snow in the areas that you see shaded in gray. Here in the Quad Cities, I think up to an inch is a pretty good bet. Could see a couple isolated areas of an inch and a half. But as we go northwest, or excuse me, northeast of the Quad Cities, uh, out toward Mount Carroll in Galena, that's where we could get two to perhaps three inches. And yes, there could even be a few heavier bands of snow setting up where we could get a little bit above three inches. So overall, a nuisance storm, but still it is the beginning of spring, so not many of you are probably wanting to see that snow. Temperatures, of course, a big factor. Right now we're at 33 degrees in Davenport, 35 degrees in Moline. And with the clouds moving in, temperatures will be pretty steady throughout the next few hours and slowly dropping. We're already below freezing in Clinton at 30 degrees, same temperature in Galena, but still holding on to the middle 40s or lower 40s, I should say, down toward Mount Pleasant in Burlington. Again, the clouds are beginning to increase. We are starting to see some rain and even a little bit of mixture off toward the west, and that's going to get in here as we go later on into tonight. Here's 4 o'clock in the morning when it starts to cross the Mississippi River. By the time you head your morning rush hour, that's where we will see the rain and snow here in the Quad Cities. Again, more south, that's where it will be a, a little bit more of a rain and mixture that will all get out of here by lunchtime. Then we see some dry hours throughout the afternoon. But as we go into Tuesday and even into Wednesday, we do have another chance for rain. 30 for the overnight low tonight with that wintry mix moving in. That moves out by midday. Cloudy and breezy for the rest of the day with a high temperature of 40 degrees. We're up to 47 on Tuesday with that chance for an afternoon shower. Even maybe a few rumbles of thunder, especially south of the Quad Cities. Then another chance for rain heads Wednesday afternoon. But the good news there, temperatures up into the uh, near 60 degrees. And then we cool down toward the end of the week. So old man winter hanging on tight just a little bit longer here in the Quad Cities. Spring is finally here and we get more snow. Exactly. Just be careful tomorrow winter morning. Winter just won't go away. Kyle. No, we'll not. Hopefully our last round of snow and sleet as we head into tomorrow morning could affect your Monday morning commute. So there will be a few slick spots. Anywhere from a trace to two inches of snow. I think here in the Quad Cities about an inch looks likely. A little bit less than that down to the south. And a little bit more up to the north toward Mount Carroll and Galena. That's where we could see two to three inches. A couple heavier bands might set up uh, where we get a little bit more than that. And there's a look at your 10-day forecast. Chance for rain and maybe even a few rumbles of thunder on Tuesday. Cooling things down by the end of the week and then warming up by the weekend. And of course, meteorologist Anthony Peoples will have the latest tomorrow morning. Sounds good. Thanks, Cal. And thanks for joining us. Have a good night, everyone.
Fumble.